What's going on guys? I've got here a 2011 Dodge Ram 1500 and I'm gonna use this car to point out to you the location of the starter fuse, the starter relay, and give you some important troubleshooting steps regarding the starter. So to begin with, you know, if your car's not starting or the engine's not cranking, try shifting it in neutral and then starting. These cars have a safety device where unless the computer detects that you're in park or neutral, it will not allow you to start it. Now moving on beyond that basic troubleshooting step, we're gonna head under the hood. This is where we can find the starter relay, the starter fuse. We can also find a fuse that provides power to the ignition switch. So all that here is gonna be right by the battery. And you know, while we're right next to the battery, go ahead and check and make sure that your connections are clean, tight, and free of corrosion. This particular battery is the wrong battery. The terminals are on the wrong side, which is why we see it's all mangled up here. But uh, let's take a look inside this fuse box here. So we can open this by pushing the tabs on the front and allowing this to rotate up into the back. If you want to open it more, you can uh, simply just pop it off like so. Now I first wanna show you the fuse that provides power to the ignition switch. So that's gonna be the 10 amp fuse all the way in this left hand side. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out here just to show you that is what a good fuse looks like. Now the starter relay is this relay right here. And when this energizes, it takes power from the battery and it sends it to the starter through this 40 amp J case fuse. So this fuse is the starter fuse. As you can see, it's intact. And if you need to remove it, you just wiggle it from side to side while you pull up. This is called a J case fuse, should you need to go buy one. Now, my favorite way of troubleshooting the starter relay is to have an assistant inside the car trying to start it. While they're doing that, I'll come here and I'll actually tap on this relay. Sometimes relays can get stuck and by tapping on the relay, you can get it to start working again. Further troubleshooting beyond that, we can remove this relay, set it aside, and we can swap in a different relay. I would suggest swapping in maybe our radiator fan relay. And if after you swap the relays, you're able to start the car, well, that gives you a pretty good idea that maybe your original relay is no good. Now, what we can also do is directly send power to the starter to test it out. This is something that you will only do as a troubleshooting step. You wanna make sure that the vehicle is in park or neutral with the emergency brake on. You wanna make sure that no one has their hands anywhere near the engine. And what I'm gonna show you is how to connect two pins together to directly drive the starter. So it's these pins here that I've drawn a line between. So as you can see, when I connect those two pins together, it causes the engine to turn over. This bypasses the ignition switch and the starter relay and everything. So yeah, if you connect those two pins and your engine does not turn over, it could be that your starter's failed, that your engine is seized, um, or that you have a bad connection or a weak battery. So yeah, just a quick troubleshooting step there for you. I hope that this information was helpful for you, or at the very least, a good starting point. Please do let me know down below if you have any questions or any advice about troubleshooting the starter on your Dodge Ram.